Hello everyone, I am Sahil Chhatre from iGate and today I am with the aptitude section of GATE CSE IT 2018 question paper. Okay, so the first question of aptitude in this question paper is what is the missing term in the following series, right? One series is given with a missing term, you have to find that missing term. Okay, so the question is 2126247201440 and that 0. You have to find that missing term over here. Okay, so how we'll proceed in the question of series, we have to check that what relation the second term is having with the first term. What we should add, multiply, divide or subtract from the first term to get the second term. So here we can see that between 2 and 12 what's the relation 2 into 6 is 12 again the next term is 60 so what's the relation 12 into 5 is 60 it is a series of multiple okay next 60 into 4 will get 2 4 0 again 2 4 0 into what 3 we are getting 720 then 720 into 2 we are getting the next term 1 4 4 0 so here we are with the missing term so you can see what you should multiply 6 5 4 3 2 and then 1 yes 1 4 4 0 again the last term is given 0 so obviously 1 4 4 0 into 5 4 3 2 1 0 into 1 4 4 0 into 0 is the last term 0 so this was the missing term over here that is 1 4 4 0 so the option is b for this question Okay, so here is the question number 2, right? What would be the smallest natural number which when divided either by 20 or by 42 or by 76 leaves remainder 7 in each case? So you know that the, when this type of variety arises to find the smallest natural number and the numbers are given and the remainder is also given, then what approach you have to apply? You have to apply the approach of LCM. So first and the foremost duty is to find the LCM to find the smallest natural number divisible by these three numbers. Okay. Okay, so first one 20 22 into 2 into 5 right 20 multiples 42 7 6 are 42 3 2 into 3 into 7 right then 76 76 again 2 into 2 into 19 okay so 4 into 19 you'll get 76 so when you will find the lcm of these numbers you will get 2 square common multiples least common multiples then 5 into 7 into 19 okay so what you will get is 7980 but you have to check that what's the remainder remainder is 7 and 7 so here we are having one trick in this this type of questions you have to find the lcm first and then check if the remainder given is 0 or a non zero value if 0 the lcm would be the answer but here in this case we are having remainder 7 two varieties in remainder non zero remainder if is not equal to 0 then remainder can be same and different with the, the given numbers when the least common multiple that is the 7980 is divided by these three numbers if the remainder is non zero and if the remainder is same then you have to apply this technique and when the remainders are different with, uh, when we divide by these numbers this least common multiple that's the lcm of the numbers will get if different remainders then the trick is different so here we are having remainder seven so we'll find the lcm and we'll add the remainder in that lcm to get that number so 7980 is the lcm so 7980 plus remainder given seven you will get 7987 as the smallest natural number which when divided by 20 42 or 76 leaves remainder 7 in each case so option c is the correct option so here is the question number three the area of the square is d okay d units what is the area of the circle which has the diagonal of the square as its diameter so this diagonal of the square is the diameter of the circle so the square must be inscribed in the circle let the length of diameter be capital d because d is the area of square and let the sides of square be a any unit okay so we'll find the relation first of all area of square is equals to a square side square we know that right and uh, it is given that area of square is d d equals to a square this is the first and foremost relation we are getting okay so let's find the value of capital d that is the diameter of the circle so we'll apply the pythagoras theorem in this because it is a right angle triangle every angle of square is a right angle okay so here we'll apply the pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is also perpendicular square plus base square hypotenuse is capital d and perpendicular base a square plus 
a square. So d square is equal to a square is what? d small d d plus d is equal to 2d. So d equals to root 2 d right so when it is diameter radius is equal to diameter upon 2 root 2d upon 2 this is the radius we are getting of the circle so simple we have to find area of circle and we know that it is pi r square pi into r is what root 2 d upon 2 whole square pi into 2 d by 4 cancel pi d by 2 units so you are getting option d is correct for this question next question question number four in the figure below we'll find we have to find angle dec plus bfc so what the angles are dec and bfc these two angles right in terms of bcd and bad so here approx okay so for this when we have to find angle bcd angle bad all these types we have to make parallel lines with these two lines af and ae why because the angles involved are inclined with these lines so you have to make one construction right construction you have to make that line parallel to af and ae right so you have to make two lines parallel to af and ae so ae parallel line this and af parallel line like this okay so af a like this okay so this is what the construction needed now you can see that angle dec so these two lines are parallel so this angle will be corresponding with this angle so this will be equal to angle dec okay and again these two lines are parallel so angle afc is corresponding to this angle that is whatever this angle is this is this angle is corresponding to what afc so this is also equivalent to afc okay or bfc the same thing it is given that bfc so we have to consider bfc right afc or bfc this angle okay now the remaining angle is this one right let it be x x degrees okay so this angle is equivalent to which this angle why because opposite angles of a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel to each other so it is a parallelogram this angle is x degrees so this angle would be all, all, uh, with the x degrees so we have to find in terms of bcd and bad so angle bfc plus dec we have to find this dec plus bfc so angle dec plus angle bf c right so we know that these two angles are dc and bfc and when we'll subtract bcd with this angle x we'll get dc plus bfc bcd minus x degrees right we'll get dc plus bfc okay so bcd minus x degrees and x is what bad okay so bcd minus angle bad opposite angles of parallelogram are equal so bcd minus bad we are getting as option a so option a is correct so here is the question number five if a, uh, in a party 60 percent of the invited guests are male and 40 percent are female if 80 percent of the invited guests attended the party and if all the invited female guests attended what would the ratio of the males to females attended the party okay so number of guests are unknown and percentage it is given so the easiest approach for this question is let the invited guests be 100 okay humne consider kar liya ki let the invited guests be 100 so in a party 60% of the invited guests are male so 60% of 100 that is 60 are male guests okay and 40% are female so 40% of 100 that is 40 are female guests simple is that okay if 80 percent of the invited guests attended the party and if all the invited female guests attended so 80 percent of the total guests 100 attended the party that means 80 guests attended the party 
simple okay so what it is saying that all the female guests invited have attended females are very responsible okay so 40 female guests are there all the 40 females have attended the party so among the 80 guests attended all the 40 females attended the party that means remains what 40 remaining guests 40 those who have attended and if 40 females attended then rest 40 would be males obviously if 80 guests attended 40 females attended then the rest 40 are the remaining males that have attended the party so when 40 females attended 40 males attended the party the ratio would be 40 is to 40 that is 1 is to 1 so here we are with the correct option b 1 is to 1 simple so next is question number six a six-sided unbiased dice with four green faces and two right faces is rolled seven times so it is uh, we are considering one dice which is six face uh, six sided unbiased dice and we are rolling it for the seven times and the dice has four green and two red faces okay so which of the following combination is most likely outcome that is most likely is being asked right three green faces and four red faces four four green faces and three red faces five green faces and two red faces and six green faces and one red faces okay so you are having a six sided unbiased dice with the possibilities four faces are green and two faces are red right so when we when you, you will roll dice it is most likely that for the six times you will get four times green and two times red because four faces are green and uh, two faces are red so it is asked that what is the most likely outcome of this experiment when the dice is rolled seven times so when we are rolling for six times we are getting four face is green and two faces red as most likely outcome now most likely is asked according to probability we are working so when it is seventh time right when we are rolling the dice seven times so it is your common sense that the possibility of green face is much more so the fifth time uh, so, the, so the possibility of five faces green and two faces red is most likely why because green face probability is much higher so option c is correct where it is asked most likely you have to use your common sense okay you don't have to waste your much time you have to use your common sense and judge okay so question number seven next if pqr is not equals to zero and p cup over minus x is equals to one by q q cup over minus y equals to one by r and r cup over minus z is equals to one by p what will be the value of the product x y z so whatever given equation one let, let us consider this is equation one p cup over minus is equals to one by q that is one by p cup over x is equals to one by q right equation one Next, q cup over minus y is equals to 1 by r. So, 1 by q cup over y is equals to 1 by r. This is our equation 2. Next, r cup over minus z is equals to 1 by p. So, 1 by r cup over z is equals to 1 by p. That is our equation number 3. Right. So, in equation 1, we can see that 1 by q is equals to p cup power minus x. Right. So, we can substitute p from here p equals to r power z in it from equation 3 we can consider so p we can substitute r power z and minus sign is there okay so th this will be r power minus z x next we can substitute r from here q power y from equation 2 we can substitute r so r would be q power y and minus z x will remain so this will be q power minus x y z or we can write it as 1 by q ka power x y z and here we can write it 1 by q that is from lhs right so 1 by q is equals to 1 by q ka power x y z so comparing powers we can get x y z is equals to 1 and this is what the answer b okay so here is the last question of the aptitude section question number eight in appreciative of a social improvement completed in a town a wealthy politician decided to give gift of rupees 750 to each male senior citizen and what rupees 1000 to each female senior citizen there are total 300 senior citizen and eight ninth of total men and two third of total women come claimed the gift what amount of money does the politician paid it is also a very simple type of question total there are 300 people 300 senior citizens those who are allotted gifts in this we can consider x as males and 300 minus x obviously females that is senior citizen males and senior citizen females so it is given in the question that 
रुपीज सेवन फिफ्टी इज गिवन टू ईच मेल सीनियर सिटीजन एंड एट नाइन्थ ऑफ टोटल मैन केव सो एट बाय नाइन एट नाइन्थ ऑफ टोटल मैन एक्स आर गिवन वॉट अमाउंट रुपीज सेवन फिफ्टी ईच राइट द प्राइज अलॉटेड टू सीनियर सिटीजन मेल एंड टोटल टू थर्ड ऑफ द टोटल फीमेल सीनियर सिटीजन केम सो टू बाय थर्ड ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड माइनस एक्स फीमेल्स आर गिवन वॉट रुपीज वन थाउजेंड ईच वन थाउजेंड ईच ओके रुपीज वी कैन मैंशन रुपीज वन थाउजेंड राइट सो दिस इज द प्राइज मनी फॉर फीमेल सीनियर सिटीजन सो एट नाइन्थ ऑफ टोटल मेल रुपीज सेवन फिफ्टी ईच टू थर्ड ऑफ टोटल फीमेल्स रुपीज वन थाउजेंड ईच आर गिवन प्राइजेस सो दिस विल बी द टोटल अमाउंट विच इज अलॉटेड बाय द पॉलिटिशियन टू द सीनियर सिटीजन सो वेन वील सॉल्व दिस इट इज बींग थ्री थ्री जा थ्री टू जा थ्री फाइव जा जीरो टू फिफ्टी इंटू एट टू थाउजेंड एक्स बाय थ्री प्लस वेन वील सॉल्व दिस टू बाय थ्री ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड इंटू वन थाउजेंड माइनस टू बाय थ्री ऑफ वन थाउजेंड राइट एक्स ओके एंड या ओके या सो नेक्स्ट टू थाउजेंड बाय थ्री एक्स प्लस थ्री हंड्रेड इट इज टू लैक Yeah, minus two thousand by three x. So we can see that x terms are being cancelled. The rest remains is rupees two lakh. This is your answer, C option. It is uh, C two thousand two lakh. So in this way, we have completed the aptitude of Gate CSE two thousand eighteen paper. All the eight questions. Thank you. for watching the video so thank you for watching the video in this way we will be completing all the papers of all the years of aptitude in gate csc 2019 2017 16 line wise we will be completing every sort of question uh, your next video will be the paper of 2019 gate aptitude section in this way we will complete every paper so keep watching uh, youtube page of i gate and please like and subscribe our channel thank you